It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Welcome one and all to our show tonight. Wayne County High School War Eagle football coach Jack Hankins. How are things with coach Jack Hankins these days? Man, we're doing good. Good to see you. Good to be with you. And I'm ready to talk a little Warrior football. <laughs> well, let's do that. Spring practice is here. We've talked about it off and on, you know, since season was over spring practice, spring practice. But now we're, we're a week in, and, and let's look at some things. Let's look at our team, Coach, and break it sure. down a bit. But first, let's look at age and experience. Let's look at, you know, uh, seniors, juniors, sophomores. Okay. How this break down? Our breakdown, Marshall, we got, as of today, we have 17 seniors. We've got 29 juniors. And get this, 42 sophomores. <laughs> okay, now that's interesting. Uh, and I don't know if we've got a large number down here in the, in the younger group mm -hmm. because they haven't gone through the war of attrition yet, or is it just, or there's a little extra excitement? How do you, how, what, what do you think the reason? Is this normal? Or? Well, it's going to be a normal thing. <laughs> um, we got, that's that group, if you remember we talked last year, the big freshman group that came out, we had 63 of them. Mm-hmm. So that's just what's been left over from them finally having their freshman football season. So 42 you know, out of 63. Yeah. That's not That's bad. from last year. So, yeah. you know, this year we've got, I think, 54 on our roster from freshmen. So, you know, if you can keep about four of them guys, you're going to end up with some big classes in the future that's coming. So uh, that's that's just, I think, just a – I think it's just a leftover. I, and I say leftover, that's, that's kind of thinking of a, a, a bad term. That's just what's left from us finally having a successful freshman football year. If you yeah. remember, we didn't have, because of COVID, freshman ball for really two years. Yeah. So we just missed a lot of that. So I think this is just us, you know, getting them back and building the program back up from the ground up. Yeah. I tell you what, there's strength in numbers. I mean, you know, you, 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 the more you got, you know, the more mm -hmm. opportunities you Absolutely. have. You know? so Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's exciting. The number's getting bigger. Uh, now, 17 seniors, I'd say that's a uh, a pretty good size senior class, but it's 42, 29, 17. That's crazy. Let's yeah. look at the group strengths. Sure. We got, you know, we, we break them down, O-line, QBs, running backs, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the, each of the group and consider the numbers we have in those roles, uh, strengths, weaknesses, or intangibles. Let's just talk about our – let's start with our O-line. Let's start up. I love it. That's where it all <laughs> happens, right? Yes, you sir. Know, that's the most important people on the team. Uh, so, here's the thing that I couldn't say last year. Strengths, it's probably our experience. If you remember, we were babies and puppies last year. Marshall, we bring back pretty much five out of six starters. The only starter we lost was Braxton Pitts, if you remember. I did. Um, we bring back tight ends. We bring back every, every, everybody but Braxton, and Braxton did a great job, you know. Um, we're trying to find a guy that's gonna replace him Marshall, they've been – I've been pleased so far with these guys. Uh, they act like they know what they're doing now. Yeah. Last year I think we just kind of wondered and hoped. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, you know, my whole word for this week, starting into week two, I want us to be intentional. Be intentional. It, it don't happen by accident. It don't happen because we hope it. Yeah. You know, we, we, we want to be intentional with everything we do. And uh, I, I really like how they're coming along. And I like – our guys that, that are really backups in this. It's part of these freshmen that are now sophomore. You know, it's Marshall, it's just being in the program and doing it. And, and another strength of these guys is their strength. I was um, going to ask you about that. They're getting I last, stronger. Last year we had one guy that could bench 300. Yeah, last year. year we did. Now, I hate to say this, but, but maybe by fall, well, let, me, let me say we should. Yeah. By the time fall hits, we should – just about have every one of them guys are starting at benching 300. Well, we should. So we we couldn't say that last year at all either. Now, that's not guaranteeing 15 wins a season. Yeah. That's not guaranteeing 10 or 5. Or, and it ain't guaranteeing we won't. Yeah. But uh, it, it's good that you look out there and, and, and we and we look a little different. We, we play a little different. It's just – Man, experience is the most valuable teacher you can have, you know? Yes, sir. You know, I walk – I I don't. I, I come up here sparingly. 
But, you know, it's just like when you see a child, you know, and you don't see them for a while and you come back and say, well, how they've grown. Like, when I come back mm -hmm. in here, it's not the same. Yeah. I mean, you see it every day, but you stay away for a couple of weeks or yeah. three weeks or a month and you walk in here and it'll, it'll open yes, your sir. eyes. It's yes, exciting. Sir. So our strength up front, uh, you know, our experience and then, of course, our strength, our, yeah. our, our, our capacity to push people around. So yeah. that's two. And you're not going to see any big guy. We're not overly big up front. Yeah. We're, we're not. You know, we've we're got some good 250s, but we're not overly. You're not going to come out here and see no 6'3", 6'4", 300-pound guys. So. Yeah. But I, but I like our group. I, I'll take them. To, I'll go to fight with them every day. Yeah. Well, uh, they're how are they young? Or how, did you address that? Are we young up front? Uh, well, the guys we got coming back, it's really mixed. I've got a couple of good tenth graders, a couple of good juniors. Um, so, I think next year when we graduate, I know we're fast forwarding a long, you know, several months ahead, but we won't have to replace the whole bunch like we did this past year. <laughs> that's a big deal. Yeah, that's, that's a, a big it's deal. a huge deal. Yeah. So, so we're kind of mixed in yeah. there. You know, depth is so key, and uh, if you're going to win at any level, I mean, it, you know, you got to have depth. And we, mm -hmm. uh, how are you, you? You feel pretty good, you know, with the depth you have available at the O line. I feel better than we were last year. Okay, absolutely. Okay. Um, I feel much better. We. We had a guy, you know, I don't know, Marshall, what's been going on at your work. We've had a little hit of the stomach virus, a little hit of the flu in this building, and we had to go through a scrimmage, and we had to start one of our ninth graders at, at one of our tackle spots, and he did a phenomenal job Friday. And, we, and we're building that depth, and, and that's that's what we're trying to do, build a two-deep depth situation. And I'm just um, – you got to have it because it's going to happen during the season. Now, we talked about that Friday. We had an O lineman and a D lineman out with a flu. We said, guys, we're not going to make excuses. We're going to coach as coaches. We're going to coach who's out here. But this is so much like a regular season because things happen. I said, get used to it. Somebody step up. Somebody take their place. And uh, we, we we had a good day, and we didn't let that hinder us. But we had two stars out, and that's that's big. We stepped up and um, and just kept moving on. Mm -hmm. uh, you you mentioned the ninth grader. And uh, I know this is a, this game really here at this level typically revolves around 10, 11, 12th graders. Uh, you mentioned the ninth grader. What are the prospects that we've got kids that are going to be in the ninth grade next year? Are there any prospects that some of these guys may make their way on the field on Friday nights, or is it too early to tell, or is that not something you do? Uh, if we, we did last year because yeah. we had to have them. <laughs> we had to have numbers. Uh, it's a little early to tell right now, yeah. but uh, we – we may not have to have them. We we the way it's shaking out, we we could possibly have enough depth and enough enough players to to where we don't have to have them. They can stay with that ninth grade group. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't the luxury we had last year. Yeah, yeah. Old line. You think we're pretty good on the old line up front there? I think, think we can always be up? better. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> one we can be better, uh, Marshall. They're here here's where we are with it. We we need to be consistent. We're not consistent yet. Mm -hmm. Once we get to be consistent, and, that, and that's with everything. That's that's with offense that we we've got. We're really good at, at times and, and show flashes that oh this can be, but but then we go and show flashes that that's not real good. So we we have yeah. to find a consistency and not just do it sometimes. Yeah. Just be consistently good all the time, and that that just take the correct step, go the right place every single time, and let's don't do it. You know, just a few times. Let's yeah. do it every time. Yeah. Let's uh, let's back. Let's let's get. You know, we're gonna go to number two up here. The quarterbacks. Uh, you know, I, I heard uh, a deal. We may have mentioned this sometime a year ago. Uh, I was watching a show one day on a Saturday, and they had a, a Nick Saban and Hugh Freeze, and uh, you know, uh, several of the coaches. This was several years ago, and they asked, "What's the most important player on your team?" And said, "Apart from the quarterback." And everybody was talking this, talking this, talking this, and got to Saban, and they said, "Well, the quarterback." I said, "No, coach, we're not. We're not talking about the quarterback. We're talking about other than the quarterback. What's the most important player on the team?" And they said, "There ain't no most important player on the team other than the quarterback." You know, mm -hmm. so I don't know where you stand on that. But now we got us a. We got us a pretty good quarterback, and uh, he had a good year last year, and I, I, and uh, he's back. And uh, I've seen a little film on him in the spring. Looked like he might have picked up a step or two on his speed. Yeah. Not saying he was slow this year, but I, I've seen some video on him. Looked like he's stretching out. So let's talk about our quarterback room and where we at on that. Well, we got two. We need we need about four. <laughs> um, we got two. You know, last year we were, we were a little bit limited. Um, Carter's picked up a few steps. You know, he's got a little little more speed. You know, we didn't – people don't know that. We didn't really let him run last year. We kind of kept that bottled up just for the, again, lack of depth. And 
Jacob Bowles is one of our quarterbacks. We really only had two, if you, if you really look at it. And Jacob was a ninth grader. Now, Jacob was a ninth grader, so anything can happen any time. But we were kind of limited a little bit package-wise because I didn't want to get Carter banged up and all the pressure, you know, on Jacob as a ninth grader. And, and he was still learning the system too, you know, yeah. and, and he's getting better at it as well. So, so we got Carter and Jacob going into the spring uh, when we play Popperville. Again, experience is key. Um, Carter Car does a great job with all the intangibles and getting people lined up. And, you know, it, it's that guy's got to be a coach on the field. Yeah. And Carter Carter does that for us. Uh, you know, again, package-wise, well, I let him run. You know, whether I let him run a whole lot depends on what we got yeah. backing him up and how many we got backing him up because yeah. he gets banged up. And then you're down to Jacob, and he gets banged up, and he's really down to nobody right yeah. now. So. Yeah. And you and we're trying to develop that guy. We haven't had a, a lot of luck doing that yet. Yeah. But um, it's it's good to have Carter back. It's good to have Jacob back. They've got a, again experience under their belt, and they're going to be good for our football team. Yeah. Uh, while we're in the backfield, let's talk about running backs. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's see. Uh, you know, we got uh, Isaiah last year. Mm -hmm. you, I guess was our cornerstone back there, and then he he went down. I don't know if it's something we can talk about or not. You just tell me. I mean, is he is he back? Well, he's back, but he's very limited. Mm -hmm. Marshall, I, I don't mind telling. He really blew out his hamstring about four to six weeks ago in track. Yeah. And he was. We had a really really good track team. Yeah. I tell you what, it's forced us to do. Isaiah Isaiah is back, and he he's he's he makes us go, and he's a difference maker. But man, it's because he's been out and hadn't been able to participate full practice. It's made us develop depth, and it's ah. made us develop people that can play and uh, maybe get guys from the other side of the ball. And it, it's really it's really helped us from the coaching standpoint develop people that can play because uh, who's to say you get in the season, and, and I hope not, but he gets his ankle rolled up or, he, you know, hamstring. I mean, this thing's been nagging him for We can't get him healthy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, long story short, you got to have guys that can step in, and I, and I think that hurt us last year. Yeah. Everybody that was his backup last year, really, when we needed that tailback, they were all freshmen, and they were all still learning. They, and yeah. to be honest with you, they they weren't ready yet. Yeah. They weren't ready yet, but we had to go with it, and uh, we pretty. You think we pretty? We pretty. Yeah, we got we got uh, experience wise coming back. I mean. Isaiah's, on a running back, yeah. we do. I think that helps you, you, us. You think we do? Mm -hmm. uh, as far as depth, you know, where do we stand? We're much we better than we were last year. Okay. Yep. I, I, well, I I'm do. hearing as so far we're pretty much better everywhere than we were last year. That's a good thing. I don't know about that. You're going to paint me in the corner now. <laughs> <laughs> Get to run in that mouth and we'll see uh, what you made. <laughs> that's right. We... But so uh, running backs. But let's go through them. Who, who, who are we going to see? Who are we going to see? At right? running back? Yeah, who are we going to see? You're probably going to see a lot of Zay um, – Oh, you got I got five of these guys, Zay Owens, you'll see. And, of course, we hope Isaiah gets back where he can run. Yeah. He, he's close, but he tried one play and he couldn't go. Yeah. Uh, we're going we're gonna to work. You'll see K.J. Wally over there. Um, you'll see Malik Odom over there some. You'll see um, Loper over there some. You'll see – and I say some because we, we got just a hot podge of, of guys, Marshall. Yeah. Um, we just got – you know, if, if we let Carter run the ball, he, he'll be in that running back position. You'll see Drake coming over from the defense side of the ball. He's running the ball some. Uh, I kind of want to surprise you, but, you know, uh, Kieran Hopkins, Bubba's going to run the ball some. So we hadn't been kind of letting the whole cat out of the bag, everything we're doing, but we, we've got, you know, a lot of different people that may touch the football. Yeah. A lot you, of different you people. rascal, you! <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, let's do, Coach. We we about halfway through. Let's take us a break to hear from some of our sponsors, and we'll come back. We'll make our final comments on comments on the running backs, and then we'll pick up at the receivers. Ten four. Right after this word from our sponsor, we'll see you after the break. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories. And 
we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Coach, we uh, we were talking about our running backs before the break. Anything mm-hmm. closing remarks on the running backs we're going to pick up on before we go to receivers? No, I don't guess so, Marshall. Just Sandrico Mayfield and uh, Malik Blackman, they're two of our other younger guys working. So, like I said, we got a hodgepodge of guys back there. But um, receivers, you say? Yeah, I Ooh. do. <laughs> we lost a lot. We lost. We graduated four senior receivers, and all four started for So Man, man, man. You, so experience is not going to be your strength no, here. No, I can't sit here and, and, and brag on that. I mean, now, we got a group working hard, but we graduated four good ones. Mm-hmm. from Six foot tall, strong, tough, muscular with – I mean, with Connor and Cameron and Eddie and J.J., those guys, man, they, they were great leaders for us, and they did a good job. But uh, that, that's, that's the part where we're, we're trying to replace. Now, it's, 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 you know, we got probably a handful of guys that can go out there and play, but we're, we're trying to learn to get lined up right. Uh, I tell you, we got Ivan McDougal, 1-1. He, he's, he's leading the way for us. Um, Jamarion Henderson's leading the way for us. I don't know if y'all – you've probably seen them. They're, they're smaller guys. They're probably in the five, six, five, seven range. Tyreek Hill's kind of small, ain't he? Tyreek's a little <laughs> – he, he can run a hole in the wind, can't he? <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're, we're a little small there. Yeah. Um, very inexperienced there. So, uh, I, that's a work in progress. Let me just leave it at that. We're, we're – we're trying to find a few. Well, you know, this is going to be a stupid question, but I've never, that's never slowed me down. You talk about getting them to line up and getting them in their routes, this kind of thing. But can they catch it? Well, we're getting there. <laughs> Jamarion, I one one. They can usually catch it if it's near them. Um, Hezekiah West has been a receiver some, running back some. He's been kind of splitting time. So we, we've got some things we're trying to do with them. And, Marshall, you know, you've asked me before, and, and so many people, well, what offense you run? What defense you run? Well, you better run what your people allow you to run. Yeah. And I'm not going to bang my head against the wall just to try to run something because I saw it on Saturday and it looks cool. Yeah. We're going to run what we can do and what our people allow us to do. So receivers, we're a work in progress trying to find out who we who we need on the field. And uh, I like who we got, but we, we, we're a work in progress. I'm gonna, this, I hate to even bring this up. This is something that I really – it's a concept I really like. And, and there was a Latin phrase, and I can't remember what it was, but what it stood for – it sounded really cool, but what it stood for, the reception's only as good as the receiver. Yeah. And it doesn't matter where that ball is, mm-hmm. if it's in his face, if it's in his chest, mm-hmm. or if it's in his hand. If he can't catch it, there's no reception. That's right. That's, that's right. <laughs> so looks like we got our work cut out. We for got our work. And we're not. Ch- for us. We're not. We're not hating. You know, we're not hating. These are kids. Oh, no. They're learning. They're learning. That's right. So that's what we have practice. Yeah, for. We we lost four four good ones. Yeah. So they, we got some guys. I, I can't wait. We're gonna see who steps up. And I promise you, we're not gonna leave it hanging. We're gonna have some guys that can catch the ball. <laughs> 
let's go on down. Let's swap the side of the line of scrimmage now. This is one of my favorite position groups in the whole wide world right here when mm -hmm. we get on the defensive line. Now, uh, let's talk about where we are on the line and, you know, what we got coming back, if anything, and what 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 we're looking like there. All right, D-line, I'm excited. Here, here's another word, experience. Yeah. Um, you got – Braden Mills back for his senior year. You got Paris Evans that, that played a lot as a 10th grader. You got another 10th grader that's going to play, Cam Chambers, and he, he is super fast. Um, How big is Chambers? He, he's a little bit smaller than Paris. He's yeah. probably 6'2", 6'3", 185 pounds. Yeah. He's super fast, yeah. though. He, 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 Speed he, kills, he, brother. Coach, he's, I mean, Marshall, <laughs> he's got to get off. This. He, he's got to get off. That's re really good. And he's smaller. And, and these guys are going to be juniors in a – you know, uh, Big Baby's back. That's Montreal. Nobody really seen him. He got hurt last spring. Actually kind of like a little freak accident. Had knee surgery. And uh, he's back to give us death. We call him Big Big E's back. Um, you got to worship him. He's back. Uh, we got a lot of guys that we're really rolling up front. And uh, I, you got a good mixture of size and speed and, and experience. And I mean, let me tell you, I'm excited about this group right here. Yeah. Um, I know Carter's not real excited because he has to see him every day and, and, and throwing the ball and trying to do things we do against those guys. Yeah. Let me tell you, they they get in your hair real quick. <laughs> um, but I, I'm excited. About, I'm ready to see these guys compete. You know, you won't see the full, I guess, what they got against Popperville because the wing tee we're going to do a little bit different. Yeah. You know, we don't see that all year long during the season. So our package will be a little different. We'll have maybe one or two more of these guys on the field. But uh, uh, overall, I – Man, this 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 group can be um can be really really sneaky good. Yeah. So when you line up defensively, you know I know I read that coming in your 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 defensive choice was a three three stack. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, where are we? We won't be doing that against Popperville, or will we? Or or, or what is our base defense going to continue no, to be well, there? Well, our base is always it, to me that's just tough against the spread folks, yeah. Marshall. But well. We'll evolve some out of that stack um, with Popperville, and you you got to put more guys in the box and on the hands on the ground. So you may see our three three turn into a five three or six three or or whatever we need. Um, I'm, I'm anxious. You know, I'm really you, since you brought it up, I'm really anxious to see how and if we've closed the gap because because last year they they beat us like we stole something. I know the score was twenty eight to eight, yeah, but Marshall might as well be it might have been fifty to eight, you know. <laughs> yeah, they were yeah, um, it was I, I'm really anxious. And I know that I know we're getting off track of position wise. No, 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 let's go. I'm with I'm it. anxious to see, you know, if we've closed that gap. And I, I know we have, but how much have we closed? Because they they're good. I don't, I don't care if they graduate this guy. They're good every year. Yeah. Okay. They they go deep every year in the play. Yeah. I really wanna see um how much we've closed that gap and uh just, just see, see our guys. You know, last year we weren't physical at the point of contact. Let's just see where we are now. You know, that's that's really, really exciting to me. And I, I got a, I know we have a, you know, several days of practice still left to go, but I really can't wait to see that because you know they're the ones that play pick you every year real close. They're the ones that's deep in the playoffs. So, so let's see. Even though we don't see the wing T, we don't see their offense. You know, and that's that's different. Um. But, man, I just want to see how we compete this year versus last year. That's really going to be my measuring stick. Yeah. Not necessarily wins and losses. I know that sounds crazy. Yeah. Not, and not, well, they didn't beat us 28-8 or we beat them 20. I'm not really talking about score. I'm talking about how do we compete, how physical are we against these guys. Because last year, you know, we, we – we left a lot to be desired. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about being physical. You, we'll find out. We'll find out we'll, quick. They, they'll, it won't take much. They'll hit you in the mouth. Yeah. You hear me? Yes, sir. We'll find out. Yes, sir. D-line. Uh, so, we good on the D-line? That's D -line. about all I, I got to say yeah. on them guys. All righty. I know you're going to linebackers next. Um, yes, sir. You got experience kind of and not experience. And, and this is what I mean. You got – we play um, – Braxton Pitts is back. Um, I say Braxton Pitt. Landon Pitts is Man. back. Braxton's not back. I Man. wish he was. <laughs> um, Landon's back. He played it last year. That was number 44, right. as you saw. Yeah. Um, he, he's a strong kid. He's going to play it this year, benching 300 and, and you know being one of them strong guys. Yeah. Um, but we moved uh, Pruitt over. If you remember, he was number 53 for us last year. Nathan Pruitt played offensive tackle force as a 10th grader. Mm -hmm. And I told him, you know, and the reason he played, he, he was fiscal last year. I said, son, if you'll get me through offensive line, get me through tackle this year. I said, I'll – because he was a linebacker too. Made three tackles in a row last year in the spring game. 
but we had no O line then. We had no we we needed his services so much on the O line. Yeah. And um, we, I ain't going to say we made a deal, but I said, man, I, I gave you my word. You know, you get me through this year at tackle. I said, because we had linebackers last year. He, he really – you can be a backup and wait or you can start right now on O-line. Yeah. And, you know, I told you I'd move him back. And uh, let me tell you, he did a good job at tackle force just because he was physical, not because he was a great O-lineman, but he was physical. Yeah. So we moved him back over there, and he's physical. Yeah. And uh, he's kind of, I guess you say, back at home. But, you know, he, he got us through, and I and – I, I appreciate a team guy like yes, that. Sir. Very important. And, uh, you know, you've got – I didn't mention, you know, the Hopkins kid. We talked about Bubba. Yeah. You know, well, Bubba's really back there because we had no D-line depth. If you remember, Braden was hurt. Billy yeah. was hurt. And yeah. we had all these hurt because we had all these guys just being great team guys him to play just kind of where we need him. Yeah. So now with our depth at D-line, we've kind of been able to forward to move Bubba back some. So he's been at linebacker some. And uh, but now what, what thing about Bubba? You know he he's kind of like most of you. Get, you know he may be linebacker, he may be D line. You know we move him around a little bit, and we try to not get a beat. You know we put him here, they're gonna run away from. Him. So Bubba's gonna be all over, but it's allowed us to move him back this spring so far and let yeah. us experiment with some things. Yeah, yeah. He's so exciting. I, I like I like a linebacker yeah. group that's coming on. I, I do. Uh, how are we depth wise with these guys? Uh, we pretty good. I think we're okay. Yeah. We're, we're getting we're, we're depth wise. We're better than we were last year. Yeah. And one is just because our numbers have helped us, Marshall. Yeah. I mean, what we, we finished the season with fifty nine guys, ten through twelve. Wow. Uh, you know, this year we're rolling out there about eighty eight yeah. right now. So, uh, you know, numbers. While you know we're getting kids out, uh, yeah. there's a little bit of excitement. And you know, now we're doing the hard stuff. Spring training is no fun. Not when it's 115 degrees out there in that turf. Hot. Yeah. You know, that's not the fun time, but yeah. we're learning to practice and learning how to work. Let's uh, roll down here to our defensive backs. I Ooh. mean, you know. Uh, I was hoping we wouldn't get to <laughs> Well, you know, that's a tough group. And, I mean, I, uh, uh, an old buddy told me once time, one time before, you know, the offensive line and your defensive backs are two units that really, or really yeah. have to play together because if they don't, somebody's band's going to be playing. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> you're right. Um, we got to replace four out of five. And I say five Man. out of our three, three stuff. We, 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 a lot of the spread stuff we see more, we pretty much run a nickel package to hold. We got five defensive backs out there a lot. We lost four of those guys. Um, you know, it, it's just um, – I mean, you got Devin and Travante and Jig and Bakari. I mean, that, those four guys were really, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're really, really trying to replace them guys. Yeah. We, we've had some good luck. Um, I, I hate to call names right now because we've been we've been going through through a bunch of them right now. But we'll put you a bunch out there that's that's, that's going to cover yeah. the pass. It's going to be physical. But right now we we're trying to we're trying to see who's going to win them four or five spots. Yeah. Uh, you know, KJ's been one of them. Majari's one of them. Um, Drake's Drake is back. He got a little experience. He played corner, but you know he he's been better this spring for us at the safety position. And and Mookie played some last year. That's my curious figures. He mm-hmm. he's back. So we we're trying to figure out that. But you know, you won't see all of those guys in the spring game because Popperville's not a spread team. Yeah. So we'll be more run oriented. So yeah. That's good because that gives us the summer still to develop these guys. You know, yeah. we're, we're getting some seven on sevens and play some, play some people's going to throw the football and that's going to help us some. Yeah, the seven on seven. We'll we'll, we'll probably talk about that later. That that, that intrigues me. Uh, but let's 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 stay on task mm-hmm. here. We got one more group I want to talk about: uh, the kickers and the snappers. Now, <clears throat> do we do we have what we got? Coming back. Well, they're all back. All back. All snappers, um, all kickers, all punters. Um, you know, you got Mills, who's all state. He was back. Uh, you know, toward the end of the year, Carter handled our kickoff duty and did a good job. He'll be back. Uh, Kyle's back at kicking PAT extra points. And we got two or three guys that can snap the ball. We, we Peyton Hudson did it last year. He did good. He did good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Justice Beard did mm-hmm. it for a while. You remember mm-hmm. he broke his leg. Yeah. And I think Peyton come in and mm-hmm. – um, we got a young guy, Hunter Scarborough, can do it. So we, we've got we've got several people that can actually do that right now. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm, I'm now, anxious to see if a, you know a year should make us better. I'm not. Again, we we we've been blessed with some some, some kickers over the past couple of years. You know, we had Gator, we lost him. He's a kid you can go out there and kick a forty yard, forty five yard field, go kick in the end zone most of the time. Do we have that kind of leg strength? We don't have that. Yeah, no sir, we don't have that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Now you're you're a kick you're the kicking coach, aren't you? You're 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 the all American kicker, weren't you? I don't know. That's the, <laughs> I don't know who's our kicking coach. Can now. we can we can we can we sneak you? <laughs> I'm not. We just having fun. Yeah, no. I don't know if they'll. Um, I, I don't know if they'd want me to go in there and <laughs> play. I might be good for one play. I I like to run down on kickoff and just hit somebody for one play. And I'm probably done. Woo! Get you That's going. Right. <laughs> well, listen, Coach. We've made our way through here, mm-hmm. and uh, we've talked about uh, a couple of all of our position groups and our players. And you know, I want to talk about spring practice, but we're not going to have time to do that. Uh, by the next time we get back together, we'll be we'll be probably right before the game, so okay. we can go over the spring practice. We'll pick that up. But sure. you know, when the out coach, the old horn's blowing, and we got to go. I want to tell everybody to be sure to follow War Eagle. You follow us at War Eagle uh, Football on Facebook and at War Eagle Football on uh, YouTube. Uh, let me say that over again. Let's see how bad I, I fumbled. Did you fumble? I fumbled, but I picked it up, right. and I'm still going forward. So I'm going to start this again. Follow us on Facebook at Warrior Football and on YouTube at Wayne County High School Warrior Football. Now, folks, that ought to stick in your minds because we've said it twice. <laughs> but for now, Warrior Football coach Jack Hankins and myself. One, two, three. We, we out. out. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, extreme guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5 and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.